Hello, what I'd like to do today is talk to you about this uh, Hokie 3286 power meter. It's an AC meter. It's used for measuring um, apparent power, uh, true or real power, and uh, power factor. It's capable of making measurements uh, of currents up to uh, 1000 amps and voltages up to 600 volts. It's a clamp-on device. So when we're actually measuring the current, we simply use this guy to actually clamp around the cable. And these leads over here are used for making the voltage measurement. So if we're talking about, let's say, a single phase, then we're typically using the, the black and the red lead over here. Now look, before we get into any detail here, uh, in terms of the actual meter itself, let's take uh, just a few moments and recap this idea of apparent power true real power and power factor to see what that really means. All right, let's look at this example. Um, what we've got is we've got a source. Um, we're going to set that to 10 volts and that's going to be an RMS value. All right, we're going to then take that source. We're going to connect it to a resistor. Uh, we'll make that a 30 ohm resistor. And then we'll connect that to an inductor and then we'll complete our circuit like so. All right, the uh, reactance of the inductor XL, uh, we're gonna say is equal to 40 ohms. All right, now look, as a little exercise for you guys, let me say that the frequency has been set to 100 hertz, and uh, let me say that the inductor is around about 64 milli henrys. So perhaps what you could do is you could use those numbers there and verify my uh, reactance here is um, uh, 40 ohms. Okay. With the meter, um, the power meter, what we're going to do is we're going to connect or measure the voltage between that point and that point. And in the clamp-on aspect of the meter, we're simply going to clamp around like so, so that we can actually go ahead and measure the current. So it's the current in this circuit that we're now interested in, which I'm going to call IRMS. All right, let's first calculate the impedance of this circuit. So Z is going to be equal to 30, that's the 30 ohms, plus J uh, times 40. Okay, that's a rectangular representation. Let's re-express that in a polar form which would be 50 at an angle of 53 degrees. Okay, the current, um, I RMS, is going to be equal to this 10 volts over here, so that's 10, and that's divided by uh, the impedance, which is 50 at an angle of uh, 53 degrees. All right, let's evaluate this. This would be equal to uh, 0 0.2 at an angle of minus 53 degrees. Okay, the apparent power, okay, in the circuit, apparent power is going to be equal to this current, 0 0.2, multiplied by the source voltage over here, which is 10, and this gives us 2 and the units here are VAs, volt amps. That's the apparent power. The real power, or true power, is going to be equal to uh, this current, 0 0.2 squared, and that's multiplied by our resistance over here, which is 30. So that's an I squared R relationship, and that is equal to 1.2 and of course the units are watts. We can talk about reactive power. Our reactive power is going to be equal to, uh, once again, this current, 0 0.2 squared, but this time multiplied by the reactance, 
which is 40 ohms, and that is equal to um, 1.6, and our units are volt, amps, reactive, or vars. Finally, we could talk about power factor, and our power factor in this circuit is going to be equal to the cosine of this angle here, 53 degrees. Okay, looking at the meter itself, um, as I said before, it is a clamp-on device as far as current measurement is concerned, so we simply open this up and clamp it to a cable. Now, it is important that we actually make sure that we clamp this on in such a direction that if you can see that little arrow there, that's, that means that the current direction in this cable has to be in the same direction as that little arrow over there. So it's actually important for you to uh, pay attention really to that. Okay, now let's have a look at this section of our meter here. Let's see if we can just get a little bit closer um, so that you can actually see this, okay? So we're coming a little bit closer here and maybe you can see this. So first of all, I'm gonna turn on the power. That's this little blue button over here. Now this turns on the power. Okay, so here we go. All right, now what we've got here, if we look at our, our little scale over here, we're reading over here, we're reading um, kilowatts. Over here, we're reading current, and over here, we're actually reading volts. Okay, so at the moment, this is set up to really measure uh, true power. So if we go to this little button here, which says watts, and we press this once, so that's all I'm gonna do is press it once, like so, You'll notice here now that we're actually measuring, um, not watts, but we're actually measuring apparent power. And so if you look at the unit over here, this is VA or volt amps. Again, we're, we're seeing our current measurement here and our voltage measurement over here. If I press the little watts button again, then what we're seeing is that we're actually able to display now the actual power factor. So this is what we would see over here, which would be the power factor, okay? Um, all right, let's press this once again. And of course, we're now back to measuring true or real power. And of course, we've got our current measurement and our voltage measurement over here. Um, the next button along here talks about the range. We can press this guy here, so let's press that once. And you can see at the moment, as far as the current is concerned, as far as the voltage is concerned, uh, it will actually select the range automatically. If we want to change that, we can use this little button over here, which has got the little I designator above it. And if we press that once, we can see that we've now set the range to uh, 20 amps. If I go over here to the little um, button here, uh, if I press this guy once, um, you'll see that now we're, we're actually setting our range to really 150, uh, 150 volts. Okay, if I'm finished with that range, then I simply press the range button once, and there we've basically, uh, back to where we were, and we've set, our, we've set our ranges. Look, I hope this gives you a little bit of an introduction uh, to this power meter, and also a bit of a recap in terms of what we mean by apparent power true or real power and power factor. So I'll see you next time.